Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning once again. Hi, my name is Pebbles, founder of Missing, Lost, and Traffic It. And I'll just wait for you all to come on in, right, to join in on this live stream on today. So I want to give you the opportunity to come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in, and then come on in again on this live stream today to join. Um, I'm sure that there are a lot of people either at the office, at work, or school, or doing something productive. And so I don't expect that there will be a lot of folks joining today, but I hope that you will, that you would join. I hope that you would join. So I'm going to give you a moment to come on in, 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 come on in. Come on in. I, I'll, I'll start talking when I know it's at least 10 people watching when I feel confident that, okay, there are 10 viewers, at least 10 viewers, then I will proceed, okay? Come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in, my friends. Come on in on this live stream today. Come on in on this live stream today, this morning, this beautiful, glorious day. It is a beautiful day. It really is. It is a stunning day. It is where I am. It's just, um, wow. It's a gorgeous day. It's gorgeous. Okay. So I hope that you are tuning in, joining. I hope that you um, are, you know, Finding some time to break away for a moment from whatever that you are doing, right? From whatever it is that you're doing, I hope that you're finding time to come on in on this live stream, you know. Well, I have a few people watching. That's great. And it looks like I got some folks watching from fake pages because I don't see their profiles. As usual, yeah. It happens all the time for whatever reasons. Mm. All right. So, yeah, six views. Let's get up to 10. Can we get up to 10 views? Can we share? You know, try to share this live stream. One or two shares would help to get us to 10 views. At least 10 views. I'm sure that there's probably more than five people watching, but I just feel like a lot better when I know that there are at least 10 people watching. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and start tar talking. The GospelCoalition.org or Gospel Coalition um, interviewed a number of pimps. And in this study and in the interview or uh, the result of the interview, um, Gospel Coalition learned that nearly 21% of pimps interviewed said their greatest fear was being arrested and prosecuted yeah. nearly 21 percent of pimps interviewed by the gospel coalition said that their greatest fear was being arrested they are not about that jail life uh-uh they're not about their jail life. <laughs> you better believe that. Or being prosecuted. They're not about the jail life. Okay. Pimps typically avoid using minors. A smart pimp doesn't want a minor. Someone under. If he's smart. We got a lot of not smart pimps. And we have sex rings. Sex trafficking rings. That are... You know, um, pimping young girls out. We got sex trafficking rings. But just a, a, a pimp himself, like a 35-year-old pimp, a 25-year-old pimp,
just a pimp doing his own thing, doing what a pimp does out here in these streets, y'all. A pimp that has some kind of brain, he don't want no girl that's under 18, okay? That's too much pressure, all right? Pimps typically avoid using minors. They do. Smart pimps do. Wings, they gravitate toward minors because there's more of them. There's an operation set up. They have a plan. They figure it out collectively, right? What they are going to do collectively to ensure the young underage girl they have entrapped into prostitution, all right, whether it be forced or voluntarily, there's a difference. They have a plan to make sure, right, that she's not going back home no time soon. Or she may never go back home ever in her life. Her parents may never, ever, ever, ever see her again alive. Okay? Now, those sex rings, people working together, multiple people working together, they are a lot more anxious about, you know, um, getting a hold to a young gal. Okay? But just one person going out here doing his thing, pimping, maybe two. <sighs> They're apprehensive about it. They're like, you know what? Yeah, if I pimp this 14-year-old girl out and try to keep her for a period of time, what's going to happen is... If she has any parents who love her at all, all parents ain't that loving. What's going to happen is she's going to get reported missing. I know that. She's going to get reported missing. This is what a smart pimp is thinking, okay? I know she's going to be all over Facebook, right? All over Instagram, Twitter, and then with enough shares, then here comes the news coming in. They're going to be making posts about this 14-year-old girl that I'm trying to pimp, right? This is what a smart pimp is thinking, okay? And then after the news makes their post, their, you know, grand old announcement about a missing 15-year-old, 14-year-old girl, well, that's when the police are going to beef up efforts, right? And they are going to do a lot more to figure out where that 14-year-old girl is, who that 14-year-old girl is with. And if she is with that man, whoever that pimp is, when the police catch up with her, yeah, he going to jail, jail. He going to jail, jail. He going to go jail, jail for a long time. Yeah, he going to jail. He going to jail, jail for a long time. A smart pimp knows that. Somebody that has a, some, some, some type of brain, they know that. They know that going into the situation. Like, uh, 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 I can just go out here to a strip club, a smart pimp. This is what they're thinking. Not what I'm thinking, okay? Follow me. A smart pimp is thinking, I can just go out here to a strip club, right? And I can just find somebody that's 18 that looks as young, right? Or vibrant as a 14-year-old or 15-year-old, you know? Mind control that 18 or 19 year old with low self esteem, and then I'm all good. He may never, ever, 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 ever come in contact with law enforcement if he plays his card cards right. It's just it's less likely it's going to happen, even if it gets to the point where he is. Forcing that 18-year-old or 19-year-old or 20-year-old or 22-year-old or 24-year-old or 25-year-old. Do we got 30-year-old prostitutes or 30-year-old uh, woman against her will? Even if it comes to that point. A smart pimp knows that, you know, the world ain't going to be checking for me if I'm pimping out uh, somebody that's under age, over age. Even if he's trafficking that person, even if he may be forcing that overage, overage is 18 and older, okay? Woman into tricking against her will. 
The police ain't got that much energy for no grown woman that's out here in the streets. Whether she's being forced or not. They don't have that same kind of energy. They don't bring that same kind of energy. Typically, they don't. Okay? In investigating the disappearance or possible trafficking of an adult woman. I'm just telling, I'm being honest with y'all. The police don't have that same energy. Right? It's very hard to convince them to muster up the strength or whatever inside of them to get the energy to, to go after the pimps trafficking the 14-year-old or the 13-year-old or the 10-year-old, right? So you know they ain't got energy for a 21-year-old, a 22-year-old, a 23-year-old. Uh-uh. Police, police not checking for them like that. I'm keeping it 100. I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it everything today. Got to keep it real. Got to keep it real. Police not looking for them like that. They may know that that young woman could be being trafficked, held against her, their will, you know, you know, chained to a wall, chained in a bathroom, chained to a hotel bed, whatever. They're not going to go out of their way a lot of times to do what? Find out where she is arrest and try to convict the pimp the trafficker or trafficking ring when we're talking about overage folks okay <sighs> all right so that's just a bit of knowledge that i just wanted to share with all of you i want to share with all of you wow this is a silent live okay Just a little bit of knowledge. And it's the truth. It's the God on his truth. You know. Well, it's the truth as I know it to be. Okay? It's my God on his truth. Maybe you may see things differently. Alright. Now, here's the worst thing you can do. Now that I kind of set the stage, I wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, uh pimping and why pimps prefer grown people a smart pimp an individual pimp or a pair working together two pimps working together over a young girl any day they're like mm -mm -mm -mm. i know i'm about to get arrested and convicted eventually if she got any kind of people looking for her that love her at all yeah it's going down now i'm going to jail jail okay now i want to talk about Why it's important that we expose pimps. Why you shouldn't be sitting here talking about, mm, I know I know the pimp's name. I know his number. I, I know where he is. I, I know what block he's on. I, I know what people he hangs out with. But yeah, I, I, I think I'll keep that to myself. I'll let the investigators deal with it. Okay. Okay. You can keep thinking that. See how that works out for you. All right. You want to expose the pimp. You want the world to know who the pimp is. Especially if the pimp is pimping out your daughter. Regardless of age. All right. Because you don't want to give, give the pimp a sense of comfort. You, you don't want him to feel comfortable. Like, yo. Her folks are scared of me, you know. Her people scared. Her people not about their life. They just so scared of retributions and consequences and and and, and, and to the point that you know they're not gonna put me out there like that. They already know who I am, but they're not gonna plaster my face all over Facebook, Instagram, and everywhere else. Mm-mm. I know they're not. They scared of me. Don't, let, don't make that pimp think you that scared and terrified of them if, you're, if your child goes missing. Really? All that goes out the window. When it's your child, it goes out the window. I remember 
I was a teenager. A man exposed himself to me. He actually tried to come, a grown man, he actually tried to come in my window, in my room. He lifted up my, we were living in projects at that time. Grown man, real story. He lifted up the window and was preparing to come in on me. I ran out. Ah! You know, freaking out, whatever. He exposed himself to me, too. I was um, a teenager. I don't know if I was 12, 13. Yeah, I saw all of that. And uh, tried to come into my bedroom. I remember my mama. I think she might have had a knife. I don't know what she had on it, but she went out there and confronted him, called the police, whatever, and told him, you know what? I will kill you. Or I will die trying. Mess with her. Come around here again. Do something to my daughter. I remember my mama saying, I kill you. Or I'll die trying. All that, all that Christian. All that lie, lie, lie. All that went out the window. She told that man after he tried to come in in my bedroom and he had exposed himself. She said, I kill you or I die trying. That's what she told him. She told him in front of everybody in the projects, I kill you or I die trying. <laughs> I bet you this, he ain't come around my window again. Yeah. He knew my mama wasn't afraid. I don't care how many church services my mama went to. And we were going to church every Sunday. He knew my mama wasn't afraid. All that go out the window. Let my, let my mama think something wrong. All the arthritis, that pain in her joints, it's going out. It's going to be like she going to be healed instantly. My mama not playing no games. She not fearing no man. When it come down to her daughters. Period. As they would say, period, poo. All right, y'all. Don't let the pimp get comfortable. Don't let him feel like he can move around freely with your daughter. And he can put her out there on the block, right? Moving her around. Because he feels like you are just too shaky to expose him. Okay? When you don't expose the pimp, when you don't expose the pimp, guess what you do? You're giving the pimp too much time to move your daughter around. You're giving the pimp time to move your daughter from one city to another city. You're giving your the pimp too much time to move your daughter from one state to another state. I know what I'm talking about, y'all. I be doing a lot of research y'all you're giving the pimp too much time to move your daughter out of country in a place where you will never locate her again in this lifetime you will see her in the afterlife i'm being honest with you when you're not exposing the pimp when you're not exposing everything you know about the pimp if your daughter called you from the pimp phone or a number you think could be connected to the pimp, you better put that number out there all over Facebook, all over everywhere. So folks can do their little, all of the slews and the Facebook can, detectives can start doing what they do to figure out everything they can find out about that person. Okay. When you don't expose the pimp, now you done gave him time to pass your daughter off to a sex ring of pimps and traffickers. Now, the only way you're getting your daughter back is if the FBI, and they're setting up operations, but you got to give them time to get around to your daughter, and ain't no telling what state of mind your daughter's going to be in by the time the FBI get her. Now you done gave the pimp time to pass your daughter off to an actual sophisticated sex ring once he feel like it done got too hot for him, you know. Whew, the block is hot. The block is hot. You know what? I can't keep this girl no more. Let me see how much money I can make if I can just get... Let me pass her off to a sex ring. And and, and then, then you get... The only way you're getting your daughter back 
is through some type of FBI operation. I'm telling you, if you get her back alive, I'm telling you what I know. Okay? Now, again, if you don't expose the pimp, everything you know about the pimp pimping your daughter out, then you done gave him time to move your daughter around. You're giving him time to pass her off to a sophisticated sex trafficking organization who is going to ensure that you never see your daughter again in this life and that you will only meet her in the afterlife. That's a whole fact. All right. Now, as time passes, so every day that your daughter is being trafficked, pimped out, God knows what type of awful, horrible, deplorable things are happening to your daughter, right? Your daughter is being exposed. Possibly exposed to hardcore drugs. Okay. So what what are pimps going to do. To control your daughter. Well. They're going to get her hooked on some drugs. They're going to get her hooked on some pills. They're going to get her hooked on that hair on. Uh huh. Either she's going to uh, toot it. Or she's going to. um She's going to either toot it. Or she is going to uh shoot it up. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, we're giving the pimp an opportunity to get these young women, young girls, your daughter, hooked on crack or cocaine, okay? And once that drug got her mind, and she's already with her trafficker, well, you can just about hang it up. What do I mean by just about hang it up? The chances, let me explain what I mean, reduces that you will get your daughter back. That your daughter will escape or figure out a way of, of escaping because she's going to get to a point, she's so doped up, she, she has no, no driving her to escape. Right? No wheel. We don't want her getting to that point where she has no wheel, right? She don't have any wheel to even try to get out the situation. Because now she's dependent upon a drug. And she knows as long as she's with her trafficker, her pimp, he's going to keep her high on that stuff, okay? Yeah. 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 We got to expose these pimps, man. We can't let these pimps hold on to these grown women and these young girls for too long. I'm telling you how this goes, okay? We, we can't be being afraid to expose these pimps. All right? Moving on. Now, when you don't expose the pimp, if you know the name of the pimp and you think your daughter's being trafficked, you better put his name out there. If you know his nickname, you should put his name out there. If you know his whereabouts, blow it up. Make him uncomfortable. Put him on the police radar. You should be making sure the police is looking for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He should be on their to lock up list. You know how you have a to-do list? The pimp should be on the police to lock up list. Okay? To lock up. To lock up list. Okay? The longer your daughter is with this pimp, right? You're tr the trafficker. Well, the more she's at risk of bodily injury. And even homicide. She's at risk of being killed. 
Especially if she's with a pimp with violent tendencies. Right? The longer your daughter is with the pimp, whoever that pimp is, the more she is at risk of being injured, physically injured, or even murdered. And I'm going to share a story regarding how missing, lost, and trafficked, exposing a pimp went right. Not went wrong. It went right. Real right. I've exposed aggressive men. I've exposed pimps. I've exposed a lot. Okay? Right? And I don't regret any of it because some young girl's life was saved as a result of that so there was this pimp who taught the young girl into leaving out of her home in Indiana in the middle of the night and somehow this young girl ended up in St. Louis. And somehow this young girl ended up out of the state of St. Louis, out of the city of uh, the state of Missouri, excuse me, St. Louis, Missouri. And ended up being 31 hours away from home, one day and seven hours away, or in miles, it would be 2,131 miles away from home. This pimp had this young girl in Santa Monica, California when she was found. Okay? I reported on that young girl's disappearance. I remember when the mom called me. And she was crying and she was frantic. And uh, she was like, I can't breathe. I don't know where my daughter is. I don't know what's going on. I said, well, ma'am, do you have a, um, you know, any kind of phone plan that you all share? Anything? Do you, do you know the last number she dialed? I said, ma'am, all I need is a number. Mm -hmm. I remember that. I said, she, she was like, I mean, she was distraught. She was like, I'm going to lose my job, and I can't work. I can't. I'm. She was gone. She was just, all. Oh, she was in pieces. I said, ma'am, all I need is a phone. Yeah. I said, ma'am, let give me a number. What number did she dial? We'll find out who she's with. Hmm. I said, ma'am, give me a phone number. That's all I need. We'll find out. Well, she, I got this number. She gave me that number. I started coordinating with our private investigator. We found out who the pimp was, put his face all over Facebook. He all over Facebook right now. We found out where his mama stay, where his auntie and them stay. Where his sister stayed. We even knew how many cars he had all the way down to the VIN numbers. You hear me? Five cars. Start exposing it. Everything I can find out about him. We even found out his last girlfriend he was with. And she was spilling tea. Yeah, he tried to pimp me. Oh, really? We found out everything we could find out about this man. We blow the spot up. I'm posting. You think I held something? Held anything back? Yeah, I held his parents' address back. And I was being a little nice by not exposing his full address. But I exposed enough. I was exposing everything. Okay? She was going to get her daughter back. Uh-huh. The devil is a lie. Guess what happened? She got her daughter back. 
This what that applying pressure did. <laughs> Made him wanna. I need to part ways with this one. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Go call your mama. I, 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 I ain't trying to go to jail. He over 30 something years old. Or however, I forgot. I just know he was grown, grown. Okay? All right, I don't want to uh, misquote his age. I think he was 31. Anyway, she got her daughter back. Yeah. FBI started getting involved. And when he knew the FBI was involved, because I called the St. Louis Police Department. Like, this is the information we have. Let me send you everything the private investigator uncovered on who owns this phone number. Attached to this person, this young underage girl called. Let me give you this information. So it just put more pressure on them to do a little bit more. Like, And when he knew that FBI had gotten involved, he was like, uh-uh, yeah, um, yeah, this ain't worth it. This ain't worth it. He didn't want. He 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 just wanted to take advantage of her. He didn't, he didn't want to do nothing like harmful of her to her. I don't think, but maybe he did. Who knows? He just wanted to take advantage of her, and he wanted to do it and feel comfortable about it, right? But once Pebbles done exposed everything about him. People are finding out where his mama stayed, where his sister stayed. I'm talking about uh, we all the way down to the cars and the VIN numbers to the cars in this man's name. He didn't feel comfortable no more. That young girl was going to have to go back home with her mama. She got her daughter back. Her daughter's alive. She got her daughter back in, in, at the end of the day. When all was said and done. Her daughter was 2,131 miles away. But she got her back home. Yeah. And that's just an example of how exposing a pimp or whatever you want to call these men went right yeah and I can only wonder what may have transpired if we hadn't found out immediately the identity as immediate as we could it wasn't that immediate but as soon as she gave me that phone number I went to work about this man who had gotten a woman's daughter and taken a woman's daughter from the Midwest all the way to the West Coast. I thank y'all so much for tuning in. I got stuff that I got to do today. And I hope you share, 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 share. And I want you to have a great day. Bye-bye.